it's time to get the elm seed beetle under control. Clean the gutters out. If you're having problems with elm seed beetles, my advice is to start from the top and work your way down. Coming up on the roof gives you an opportunity to see all the problems that you're going to encounter soon. And when that bathroom is fixed, these need to be repaired. Look at all those flashings, they're coming. New roof at that point. But right now, the beetles are a problem. And as soon as it warms up this afternoon, they'll come out in force. I know I shouldn't be up here on the roof without a spot, but who cares? All right, if you look here, you'll see those little dots are left from the elm seed beetle. So let's just dig down into this. This is, this is accumulated since last fall. I cleaned this out, but these trees and I mean trees, look at this. That tree is 60 feet above me, 70 feet above me to the top, at least. It's a big spruce tree. And that spruce tree is continuously shedding. So is the pine behind me, you can see that. But let's look in here, see if we can see the elm seed beetles. This is what they eat. This is their food of choice. Elm seed. And if you are in western Colorado, you know we have an abundance of elms. You can think what you want, but I call them piss elm. And that's not really out of disrespect. I can respect any tree that survives the way it has. But, like any plant, if a plant, as long as it's not a problem, then once it's a problem, it becomes a weed. And these seeds are a problem. Because along with that, they bring the obnoxious elm seed beetle. Anyway, as you can see, you've got three inches of this going down, and if it were a little bit warmer, the be beetles would be active and you'd see them sc scurrying. I sprayed on the exterior of the house. Now I've cleaned these, both sides of the house will be clean. From the top down, we've sealed windows, we've caulked, and I'll continue doing that today but it is necessary to stop the intrusion of the beetle into the house. So my best advice is rake out all the refuse around your house, clean it up, spray. Um, we'll be planting this bed with iris next few days and there will be no more beetles, at least over here. But if you look down there, there's beetles there. So we have sprayed. And this is the house, the end of the house where we sprayed and caulked. You can see the caulking gun. But yesterday, those windows were covered. Literally hundreds of beetles on those windows. And you can see that one is taped up. It looks like hell, but it works. And that is your only remedy. Cleanliness and tidiness really sucks. <laughs> Good luck.